So in this segment, let's talk about why dehumidification is also about air movement and why this business of pints per day is not the only measurement you as a professional grower should be looking at. And here's why. Dry Gear was created by some incredibly smart engineers and agronomists in Israel. It's a fact that Dry Gear is the only commercial dehumidification unit on the market today that was created exclusively for the comfort of plants. Proper air circulation is at the core of any growing environment. Movement of air within a greenhouse or growing environment helps to regulate temperature and humidity. It contributes to oxygen exchange, encourages pollination. It also serves to provide a stable environment for the plants, as well as making the environment more uniform so that all the plants are growing in the same conditions, which means no area is allowed to become a microclimate. Proper air circulation is essential to cultivating strong, hardy crops with increased yields. The DG12, with its massive fans, moved 13,000 CFM. These are positioned below a multi-directional airflow hood that sends dehumidified air out in 360 degrees. Dry air prevents the accumulation of microclimates within the greenhouse where disease can then flourish. By conditioning the air, plants will transpire more evenly and produce higher yields. Here's some math. In a 10,000 square foot greenhouse with a 13 foot truss, a DG12 will cycle all of the air in the greenhouse in 10 minutes. So why are your air movement numbers more important than water removal numbers? CFM or cubic feet per minute is a specific scientific terminology that tells us how long it will take to circulate a volume of air within a measured space. CFM tells us how much air needs to be treated in order to blend the room's various temperature and humidity values into a single shared monoclimate. By focusing on the water removed in a given time frame, instead of taking into account airflow, the grower doesn't know how much air their dehumidification unit can move or how long it will take to recirculate and refresh the air in their growing area. Believing you can remove 500 pints per day from your grow area does not mean that your growing area won't have microclimates. Small dehumidification units don't move a lot of air due to their smaller size. Even with multiple units and extra fans, a grower cannot figure out how much CFM they're moving because those numbers aren't published or even available. The number of pints removed does not indicate success. High CFM values combined with efficient and effective water removal design, such as a large coil surface area, are the best predictors and measurement of dehumidification success, not just pints per day. <laughs>